Good morning, my friends. Roger once again. We got serious issues here in River City. CRISPR. You ever hear of that? Well, you will. As they start doing this, what they're doing is they're destroying the integrity of the source code of DNA programming. And you cannot screw around with the source code of any programs and expect it to end up being okay. Impossible. Now, the scientists have recently learned that the approach to gene editing can inadvertently wipe out and rearrange large swaths of DNA in ways that may imperil human health. And not just today, tomorrow, the next day, and your kids and your future kids. It's a disaster. This follows recent studies showing CRISPR edited cells can inadvertently trigger cancer. That's why many scientists argue experiments in humans are premature. The risks and uncertainties are CRISPR, of CRISPR modification are extremely high, absolutely catastrophic. And you say, oh, Roger, how can you talk about this? What do you know about it? Well, here's what I know about it. Okay, my good friends, Roger, once again, I got this this morning from Steve Bentley. He's a good contributor, and uh, I get a lot of stuff from all you guys, and it's fabulous because I can't go chasing around for all these things. But everybody knows what I'm interested in and what we're doing here, and I get these tips, and this was extremely important. Listen. What if we told you that in the not too distant future, you could log onto your computer and program living cells like software? I tell you, you are absolutely out of your mind, my dear. Now, I'm going to make some claims here, and I know what I'm talking about, and I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you the documentation. It's not bragging, but I'm showing you what I have done in my life so that supports what the statements I'm making. Like Dizzy Dean said, if, it, if it's true, it ain't bragging. Now, what I'm going to tell you right now is a fact. Computer code and genom genomic code that's in your body that runs the cells and every everything that's happening inside of you, your DNA and all that stuff is a genomic code identical to computer code, absolutely identical, start code and end, end code, and then it has instructions in the middle, and it's all the same stuff. And I took a, uh, a course at uh, Johns Hopkins of genomics, and uh, so it, and it's exactly the same. And I understand because I own a software development company too. And I had a programmer, Scott Cook was a top programmer literally in the world as far as I'm concerned. That guy could program, you wouldn't even believe it. And and I understand because he could, he could also convey that information. He was so good. And the information is that there's error handling. If you have a problem, you've got to error codes. So what happens? In, in any kind of a program, and we are a program, I don't care what you say. Anybody that knows it is going to tell you, yeah, it's a program. Now, something goes wrong in that program, you end up with cancer, you end up with whatever. And that's what they found out they are ending up with. Because they're trying to change the code, and you cannot do it without having the error code set up ahead of time. So you, it's absolutely critical, error handling, 100% critical. So there is no junk DNA either. It's probably there for error code handling or other things. I don't know what it's there for, but I'm going to tell you right now. Just like the appendix was not a, just a piece of meat that was hanging off of your intestine. It was there to hold a bunch of bacteria to reinvigorate your digestive system, which is, is literally your entire health. I'm telling you right now, your bacteria in your body, if you don't have it in the right quantities, in the right places, you are sick. I don't care what you say, 100%, no question whatsoever. I've been in this, looking at this deeply. Once again, I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you the truth, and I have the facts. Now, if you change any code in your body, it's absolute insanity. Just like wiping out your anti with antibiotics, wiping out all your bacteria. If you have no way to replace that, you're in trouble. Because that is what creates all the products in your body, slimes everything down so that you're protected. It's anyway, I know I run into tangents here, but everything is a tangent. Everything is connected. Now there is no error codes, and that is, is lunacy, to change any code and have no error codes. Absolute insanity. 
So, and then I realize, I tell everybody everything you know is wrong, and it is, it's true, everything you know is wrong. And there is no human error code for everything you know is wrong. <laughs> so the hateful reactions are very well explained. I mean, they are hateful. Absolutely. Like I beat them in the face with a club, some of these reactions. And I, and, and, and I can understand it to a degree. If I knew I was lied to all my life and somebody just all of a sudden sprung that on me, I'd have a hard time with it, and everybody does. But they're coming around, everybody's coming around, because it's, it's, it's a factual stuff. And now I'm going to show you this right here, just to prove my point, that I am not an idiot about this stuff. I did all this stuff for years and years and years. This goes way, way back. But, you know, I mean, I understand it, I did it, I've been there, I've done it, I still am at it. I did this, I own a software development company, I own an installation company, support company, all that stuff. So this is not something I don't understand. All right, now, again, I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you that's the way it is. All right, well, what the hell, I'll do a little bragging. This was the point-of-sale software company that I owned. Now, Scott Cook actually did the program. I designed all the system and how it would work, and Scott was a fabulous program. Could it be possibly the best program in the world? I'm, I'm serious. Unbelievable. Uh, he did everything, 100%. And uh, all I had to do was tell him, here's what I want, I want that button, when I push it, I want certain screens to drop down, and I want certain colors, and I want it to say certain words. And all of this was just fabulous. The, the text that was here is overlaid on the cameras. The cameras are all stored. I can go in and search by customer, by sale, by date, by item, and all kinds of stuff. This is what we did originally. And, of course, those went out of date. And... That was so. I owned an installation company and a support company, and then it just transitioned into the software company. So I know this stuff inside now, and we did all of those different things, all that stuff. Nobody did that. This was one of the best systems that there is. Anyway, that's the end of the story. There. So there's my bragging means. It refers to the response and recovery procedures from error conditions present in software applications, which we are nothing more than a software application. And trust me, I took genomics, which is, and it's, it's exactly programming, which we were doing with the point of sale stuff, identical, identical, no difference whatsoever, totally identical. And that is what's running in you is a program running in you that is identical to the programs we were running. To not a difference whatsoever. Now, you have all kinds of errors come up in your life. You have got ways to handle them. You have been programmed to deal with those. This new stuff they're going to do, there won't be any deal with, dealing with it. Errors are going to come up and your body won't know how to handle them. So you're going to have error conditions and it'll say, i got an error, so what do you want to do? I don't know, go die somewhere in a corner. What the hell are you going to do? Your body has no clue what it will do, and so you end up getting these swaths of cancer. All right, since I'm on a tear, <laughs> they, they, they're so lost on everything. Even, even the periodic table. This is fabulous. That's nice, wonderful. you got all these little elements. Yeah, that's all great. Well, guess what? Every one of them has a ton of isotopes. You say, what's well, an isotope? Well, it's just something that's not exactly what that is. It's a little bit different. Well, why is it different? Well, it's got a little of this and some extra neutrons or not enough of that or some extra that, but it's really basically the same thing. Well, why is it so different? Why are those things different? Well, they're only different for a second or two. They just, they just spontaneously cascade down into these other things. Well, why do they do that? Well, it's just the way they do it. No, it isn't. They do it because that's the way life transfers molecules. They don't take zinc and turn it into calcium, they take something and they break it down into something else and something else and something else and something else, something else and that is isotopes. And then they end up with some form of stability. There's a lot that we don't understand. I mean, we don't understand anything. Let me start from there. <laughs>